am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. This, today, is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. There comes a time in a man's life where you have to deal with pain. Feeling hurt, feeling betrayed, feeling let down. It tests your character as a man, it tests your character as a person. How will you respond in tough situations? That's important. When you're thinking about taking on a family and leading on a successful life. Well, I just felt pain. Pain that I chose to feel by staying up until 5.30 a.m. in European Standard Time to watch my team get swept. The only thing I could think last night as I watched them fall on their face was how there's a part of me that's proud that we even made it this far. But there's a part of me that knows we could have done so much more. Getting swept is crazy. <laughs> That pain I felt, I don't want to have to experience that anymore. I've been a Laker fan all my life. I grew up in a Kobe household. When I started playing basketball, it was solely because of Kobe. My PS4, I have Kobe decor. Like, I'm a Lakers to my core in the bad days. Who remembers Robert Sache? Who remembers him? Jordan Farmer. Who remembers him? I was there. When we had the number two pick, picked up D'Angelo Russell, I was excited. When we had the number seven pick and picked up Julius Randle, I was excited. Number two pick once again, picking up Brandon Ingram. Number two pick once again, picking up Lonzo Ball. I was there. So I felt this to my core. It's a sad day. But guys, this video is gonna be about giving the Nuggets their flowers. We're going to talk about the demise of the Lakers, but we're also going to be talking about how the media has just did the Nuggets so wrong. And they're fed up. And because they're fed up, we, the Lakers, had to take the blows. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's lock in. Let's get to the reaction. Vowed to fight back after a disappointing loss in game three to put them in this old Let's go. Hole. Anthony Davis gets the first bucket of the game. So a since I actually watched this game, right I have a lot to say. And I'm not happy. Gordon gets another shot this time, knocks it down. I was Schroeder. so wrong about Very Michael Porter Jr. I want to formally apologize. Murray floats it up. I was gets so wrong about Jamal Murray. I want to formally apologize. Goes to the rim and finishes. I was very right about him, though. The goal. James drives on Gordon, goes reverse, and an easy bucket for James. As mm. makes it and is fouled from three. KCP, I miss you. Here's Davis. Davis drives down and Jokic leans in. Back shot is good. That's a great job by Anthony Davis taking it. Better be aggressive, AD. Nice Man, it, it up and in board it's like we have not pass figured pass. out how to defend a pick and roll, and it's crazy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, LeBron was cooking him. I've not seen D'Angelo Russell this whole playoffs. Hmm. Get hot, Bron. No. Inside is Gordon, and Gordon with six points here in the first. His scoring's been down. Help! Oh my God. is good, and that's a poor job. The help can't come from Lonnie Walker. They cannot come on the ball side. Guarding James, backs in, backs in, using his strength. Couple of and one. Hmm. Great start for LeBron James, already with 14 points. Here comes Top James. Three pointer. That's good. Eight. LeBron was trying everything. He's almost 40 years old. How is he 
our only hope. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that? In an elimination game, how is he our only hope? Team first quarter points for LeBron James and a lead back up to seven. Up block. That's a oh, that's a block. I know that should have been a three second on AD. Mm. 21, baby. Let's go. Three of four from downtown. Murray answers down I was so rim. wrong about you, Jamal Murray. I was so wrong. His first bucket. Michael Porter tries again. I was so wrong about you, MPJ. I was so wrong, bro. This is a bucket. Pulls back again, a two pointer. It's good. James races down the floor trying to find some room. Austin Reeves. Pay that man. I don't hear nothing. Give me that. Yes, sir. James to Thompson goes up and throws it down. Let me pause this right quick. Big shout out to Tristan Thompson. He came in the game last night and was playing defense, moving his feet, staying in front of Jamal Murray as best as he could. I was impressed. Getting AD some rest because AD decided he didn't want to play. So, I mean, at least in the first half, he didn't really, like, he wanted to play. But yeah, shout out to Tristan Thompson. One more. Good pump, boy. Nice. I was so hyped when this was happening last night. Oh, my God. Murray gets inside. Back to Jokic. Shot clock winding down. Jokic has to put it up. High on the three. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. We've been dealing with shots like that the whole series. Do y'all not remember the game when he made a shot like that and Jamal Murray did the same exact thing? I don't know if it was game one. Yeah, it was game one. And I was on record saying, oh, you know, the Nuggets just played the best game of their life. You know, da, da, da. This, this, you know they had to play perfect in order to win. I was wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Every take I made about the Nuggets, except Nikola Jokic being the best player in the world, has been wrong. I said that Jamal Murray is not consistent. Da, da, da. I was wrong. I said Michael Porter Jr. not consistent. They need him to be the third option, blah, 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 blah. And it doesn't seem like either. I was wrong. KCP, I was wrong. Am I even qualified to make takes? I'm not. I'm not. Stepping backwards, falling backwards, and the shot clock expiring. That's good D. That's low key good D. Not letting him to get close to the rim. He just not big enough. They were just dissecting our defense in every way. Mm. That was right after LeBron shouted at him to shoot the three. Nice touch from Jamal Murray. James drives. Good pass. One more. Shooter, a good luck. Two in a row. Good nice shot, boy. Nice, Achimura. Come on, man. I'm releasing the the. I'm releasing the DMs I made about Hachimura from 2019. Because I told y'all I I've been watching him and been a fan of his game. Gordon, his first three pointer of the series. Hachimura. Good shot, Hachimura. Wow. I'm Darvin Ham. I'm getting Dennis Schroeder out of this game right now. I do not want him to pick up the score. Murray with the answer. It didn't matter. That's a three. Oh my God, bro. He was playing so well. Across the lane, off balance, shot Gordon right there to put it in. Look at this. We are up, and you don't even think that we up because in the third quarter, they outscored us by like 15. Murray leans in, short shot is good. Schroeder tried to draw a charge. Porter off the bounce, goes at Reeves, back shot is good. This one, it all fell apart, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good block. Not rebounding. It, it, this was the turning point for us, the third quarter. Good block, boy. 
Come on. Use that energy. Use that energy. And then you do that. Gordon is not the greatest three-point shooter, but come on. I remember this play. This pissed me off. This pissed me off. I'll play it. Playing harder. Playing with more sense of urgency. Yeah, that's just them two slow steps like are very, very useful. This pissed me off too when I saw this. Oh my god. Is this the same KCP? Why are you doing this to us? You have had 30 almost every game against us. It's personal. It's personal. I love your game. I'm familiar with it. But on us? Oh my God. Lead of the game. James backing in against Caldwell Pope. Surrounded inside the Davis and Davis. Nice. And Gordon. Takes it out, Porter. Porter Miss. Oh, my God. Bro, that third quarter was so crazy. We are losing in the third quarter. By the way, we are up like almost 20. Mmm, you're a baby. Mm. He just hit one. Put a hand up. And knocks down another. Bruce Brown drives and finishes. First points of the game for Brown, and it's a six-point nugget lead. James exactly attacking, him, man. How do you get momentum back in this fourth quarter and early? Good pass. I'm telling you, shout out to Tristan Thompson, man. Never thought I would say that in my life. That's what I'm talking about. That's the only man that wanted to play for real in the paint. Good job, Tristan. Timeout, Denver. Already Jokic. Nice speed inside to Brown, and Brown somehow finds a way so good at finishing around the rim. Schroeder goes to Jeff Green. Quick shot. Mm, nice. Crafty move there from Dennis Schroeder. Murray pulls up. Oh, nice. Murray is so good. Shot from Jamal Murray. Davis answers. Good shot. Good shot. Come on. Come on. This is crunch time. Good block. This is when we were dotting to go crazy. Come on. Five to shoot. James reaching in. Oh, he's so good. He just too good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, it, I'm not going to re rewind that, but the second you take your arm and you go up with it, it's, it's, it's over. If you hear with it, you dribble and you going with it like that. The second you extend, the second you go up, yeah, it's not much to argue. That's an offensive foul. Offensive foul. James with Murray on him. He backs in, turns, shoots. Oh, this play had me hyped. Mm, yeah. This is what I thought we had hope. That's a foul. Gotta let him line. You gotta let the shooter line. You cannot be under their feet. How do you let that happen? James drives on Jokic, gets inside. A quick bucket for James. He's got 40. Jokic has to put it up. Falling away, puts it up. Sharif. Oh my God. That was a good foul, though. You got a foul in that situation. Two minutes left. Down two. What are we going to do? I hope they show the play. They didn't show it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it, though. James on the drive, goes inside, stop, shot, lock, gets it back. It's over. It's over. Denver makes history. The Nuggets are going to the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history.
before we get into these stats, there was a crucial part of the game that they didn't show in the highlights. Down by two, LeBron James at this moment has maybe 40 points. I don't know, maybe 30 something points at this point. He has the ball and the clock is running down. We're down two. He's been successful driving the ball the entire game. And for some reason, he decides to back up like he always does to try to size you up, which you should do. Try to get the first step going downhill to make the defender you know, it's it's more difficult to defend. But he passes the ball, which led to Schroeder passing it to the corner to Reeves and almost turning the ball over. In a must-score situation, he passed the ball. Now, I, I watch Skip Bayless. I watch these different shows who criticize him about not having that killer mentality and not almost being afraid to take that shot. I am not one of those people on that bandwagon. This man has how many clutch shots in his career. But this is the first time that argument stood strong for me. At that moment, I needed you to score. I needed you to get it done. At least try. I'm cool if you try, you miss. Because how many times in the playoffs the Braun had a, a game and an opportunity layup, blah, blah, blah. He missed the layup, blah, blah, blah. People were making a big deal out of it. It happens. But how can you knock the attempt? But dribbling backwards and then trying to make a quick pass when the shot clock is running down because you've already been dribbling the whole time. And we need you to score. You have been killing. Driving the ball. Drive the ball. That part for me was just disappointing, man. I can't even lie. But let's look at these stats. Off rip, we got to go to the winners. Congratulations to the Denver Nuggets. Y'all have been doubted the whole year. Talked about probably never. I mean, it's a small market team. That happens, of course. It's better for ratings to talk about bigger market teams. It's not a knock on y'all. But I think the disrespect y'all receive, especially in the playoffs, not getting the media attention y'all needed, especially playing us, the Lakers, we were getting all the shine, and I'm very aware of that. Y'all don't deserve that. And this is why y'all took all y'all anger out on us. Let's get to the winners. We ain't going to break down the, the, the stats too much. We're just going to look at points and stuff. Nikola Jokic with 30 points again. I just watched him dismantle our defense in every possible way again last night. And I'm sad. 30 points for him, 14 rebounds. Last, last game he had less than 10 rebounds, which I was very surprised. I knew that wasn't going to happen twice for sure. Um, he had a pretty bad shoot night. 11 to 24 for a big man, it's a little, especially the shots he takes, is a little bit rough because um, he usually takes some um, you no know, high percentage shots, meaning he's usually shooting closer to the rim. Um, 25 points for Jamal Murray. I mean, every single game, I was wrong. The man, this is the first time he scored with less than 30 in the whole series. I was wrong. I apologize, man. Michael Porter Jr. with 15 points. He woke up in the second half and he just, he pissed me off. Aaron Gordon with 22 points, 9 of 14. This man is a workhorse. He's playing his heart out, just doing everything he needs. They played seven players last night. That's all you need. You got to lock in with your, with your best seven, your best eight, your best nine, and get a win. Nobody, like, nobody will go back to game five. Like, yeah, we know we're going home, but all that is a risk. You don't want to do that. Just get it done. And the Nuggets play with a sense of urgency that is just so commendable. I'm telling you, it's going to be so difficult to stop them, especially in the finals. I think they, they, they have fire under them. They have the camaraderie that a lot of teams just don't have. Their chemistry is on 10. You playing the same guys. You have seven players. They know each other. They play with each, with each other every day in practice or whenever they do practice. They've been playing together for years now. They know each other. And they have enough. Defensively, they are crazy. Offensively, they're the best offense in the league. It's no coincidence. For the Lakers, um, LeBron James, I just want to give him his flowers because in the first half, the man was going stupid. Shout out to him. Really wish somebody would have stepped up and helped him out too. To give him a little bit more. Anthony Davis did most of his work in the second half. Yeah, Austin Reeves, amazing as always. They need to pay this man. Don't even play with his money. Pay with him. Pay him. Rui Hachimura, the same. They need to pay him. Give him all the money he asked for. Real talk. Everybody else, I don't care. 
post game thoughts. The Nuggets are better. The Nuggets are the best team in the league. They have the best player on that team. Nikola Jokic deserves all the flowers, all the awards. He is making the game of basketball look easy. So easy a caveman could do it. That's how easy it's looking. He's dismantling defenses. You cannot box him out. He boxes you out, gets rebounds over anybody without leaving the floor because his body is so big, pause, that the, by the time as he hits you, 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 you done, and you cannot hit him back. He's not going to move. What do you do about that? And on top of that, he plays at his own pace. The Nuggets offense, their half-court offense is so deadly. Everything runs through him. Once the ball touches his hand, their movement on the court is just infectious. You cannot stand still. Every pick and roll, he is getting the ball at the top of the key, taking floaters, making passes. I've heard every theory. Take away him passing. He scores 50. Take away him shooting. He gets 20 assists. Take away his rebounding. Aaron Gordon steps in. This team is, is just built very well with very good defensive and offensive principles. And teams like that, you just have to chalk it up to the game. Tip your cap move on the lakers got swept but we made it far shout out to rob palinka for turning the season around getting rid of russell westbrook and patrick beverly and at least giving us a chance but overall there's a part of me that's still proud of the lakers for just making it this far fighting through all of this with our team and you know we quote unquote technically started off late with these guys since the trade deadline yeah there's some good in this i hope that we can run it back get some more pieces to add to this but man shout out to the nuggets but guys y'all let me know your thoughts down below on this game and what y'all think about the nuggets yo is nikola Jokic finally gonna be team the best player in the world I think he is, and I'm standing on that. This is a Nikola Jokic appreciation channel. I promise. But y'all, let me know your thoughts down below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. As always, until the next video, love y'all to death. Peace.